and I have had a very productive and festive morning so far. I have got up this morning with quite a bit of energy because I had a decent sleep last night and I was really in a festive mood so I decided to take advantage of my energy, put on some Christmas tunes, put on my Christmas wax melts and did some housework. And I felt good. I was exhausted but I felt good after it. So um, after that I had a shower, did some other bits and pieces around the house and I have done some Christmas planning in my new planner that I got. Hold on. Tis the season to be planning. <laughs> that will be shown in a Home Bargains haul. I think it was Home Bargains that I got it. So yeah, I've been doing lots of planning for Vlogmas and things like that. So it's been a productive morning. Um, I have not got much planned to be honest but Donna, my cousin, is coming over to pick up the cards that I made for her and I think she's bringing Millie which would be lovely and she's definitely bringing little Coco who is their tiny little puppy that they got a couple of weeks or a week or something after we got Hugo but you're lucky if he'll be the size of Hugo's head. I've not actually, well, I'm saying he, it's she. I've not actually met her yet. Oh, hold on, here's Brooke. You've met Coco, haven't you? Yeah. Coco was your friend when you were staying with Auntie Donna, yeah. wasn't she? My friend. Um, so that'll be yeah, nice for you. you to see her. But she's weird than Molly. Yeah, you. <laughs> um, yeah. Look at the state of Hugo. He always lies like that. He lies right up against the wall with his legs up the wall. Absolutely crazy. So yeah, she's bringing Coco now. It's going to be so fun to meet her, but I don't know how the dogs will react to her. I said to Donna, it's fine, the dogs are used to Loman. She's like, yeah, Coco is smaller than Loman. I was like, oh right, okay. <laughs> so that could be fun. So I thought I would film it, just do a wee vlog. And I think Brooke's wanting to do some baking at some point as well. So yeah. <laughs> Can we do that now while my game's downloading? I suppose so. So I don't think I'll get much crafting done today, but I have finished the snowman and the reindeer. Look, we sneak peek. Oh, <laughs> so I'll show you that in a wee while. But yeah, it looks like we are going to be doing some baking just now. I'm not doing much craft wise today. My computer's playing up. It's needing updated and things. So I think I'm going to put that on, up, on to update. And um, yeah, I don't think I'll do much in the way of crafting. I might plan some crafts because I've got a few ideas in my head um, that I need to put down on paper before I forget. But other than that, we're just going to see what the day brings. Jack is working and Abby is working. So yeah, that's that. Let's go and get on with some baking. <laughs> Apparently Brooke's seen a recipe for two ingredient Nutella cookies. Apparently it's just eggs and Nutella. I'm very sceptical about this, but we shall see. Right, so we're <laughs> going to put the oven on to 170. Fan. And let's get the, the mixing bowl out of the... Get the mixing bowl and whisk out the cupboard. Okay, so we were going to use the electric whisk, but I can't find the actual whiskey bits to put in. <laughs> so it's not much use without the whiskey bits, is it? So we're just going to have to use a manual whisk. She's just going to have to work hard. Oh, it's cold. <laughs> yeah, they're cold. They've been in the fridge. That's what happens. So we think it's four eggs and two big tablespoons of Nutella. Let's give it a go. Is that tougher? <laughs> we hard boiled these. No, I've not hard boiled them. Dad just bought them yesterday. There, there we, we go. go. <laughs> Don't get egg in. Don't get, Don't get shell in, you mean? <laughs> this is going to be disgusting, Brooke. Four eggs and two tablespoons of Nutella put it's in the big. oven. What did theirs turn out like? It was guys that were just trying it. What did it turn out like? I can't remember. I bet it was a disaster. No, they no? liked it. That's did all they? I oh, yeah. Of course they did. That's to separate the egg. Three. <laughs> oh, it's slippy. <laughs> 
<laughs> you don't like textures, do you? You don't like things like that. Any shell in? Yay, well done. Four eggs, no shell. Right, you give that a good whisk up. Better than you. I need to wash your hands. No. Right, hands are washed, eggs put away, give it a good whisk. <laughs> this is going to be disgusting. Do you want me to have a shot? Okay. Right, we've gave that a good whisk. Um, I think we're going to do a Nutella to egg ratio. So we've used four eggs, so we'll use four tablespoons of Nutella. Right, go for it. Hi. I think it's a new jar. I love the, the foil opening on a new jar of Nutella. Is it? Is it? Is it? I'm sure it is. I'm sure I just got it the other day. Yep. Already. Oh, that's disappointing. Yay. Give it a... Oh, love it. Oh. Oh. <laughs> it's got two. No wonder it was hard to break. That one's super secure. Oh. Oh. You're meant to be one that diets. <laughs> oh, look at that. That's a bit two tablespoons, but we'll just call it one. My God, that's going to be half a jar. You know what we're like at bacon, folks. If you've watched our vlogs before, you'll know. Ugh. Okay, so Brooke has just let me watch the actual video that she saw. And it turns out that you were supposed to whisk the eggs properly with an electric whisk to make it really... That's what I was telling you. To make it really like uh, meringue, although it wouldn't be like meringue because it used the, the yolk as well. You were supposed to whisk the eggs so they were fluffy, then add the Nutella. Um, and it's not cookies, it's more like a cake, so it's meant to go in like a silicon cake tin type thing. Which, we've only got big ones and it would just be a disaster. So we're going to use the loaf one that we've got there, but it hasn't been used for a while, so we've just given it, it a wee quick wash. No, it probably hasn't ever been used. Um, so, yeah, we're going to use that instead. But we've given it a good whisk. And that's what it's looking like so far. Again, I'm not convinced. Although it did look quite nice in the video. Yeah, it's quite runny, I see what you mean. Yeah, it's very runny. It's because we didn't whisk it with an electric whisk. <laughs> right, so. Yes, it's safe. Open the door, right. I would put it in the middle of the oven. Okay, so open the door right I up. I don't trust myself with an oven. You need to learn. Right, just make sure you don't touch any parts of the oven. Exactly, that's what I'm scared there of. There you go, you need to learn. Right, that's you. Close the door. And we'll give it 20 okay. minutes and then we'll look. It's 20 past 11, so we'll come back at 22. Oh in dead. the meantime, let's get tidied up. No, you're not dead. <laughs> oh my God. Look what we just found when we went to put the... Um, mixer away were like why will that not go in because they were there <laughs> so we could have used that after all oh well at least it's worth keeping the whisker now the mixer now <laughs> what are you doing to Brooke? oh it's tail you've got your front legs on the floor and your back legs on Brooke what is that all about? and you're playing with Molly at the same time while we're here I will show you our completed decorations Look, this was just wood the last time you saw it. So this is our reindeer, what will we call him? We could call him Rana. So that way Rana could be with us again at Christmas. Yay! I like that. No. Rana reindeer. Look at him, how cute is he? <laughs> Glittery felt on his antlers. His ears and face and body are a towel that I bought from Home Bargains and cut up. His eyes and mouth are vinyl that I've um, cut with the cricket. His nose is a button that's covered in red glittery material that I had. Um, and his paws are the same material as his antlers. And on the base I've just put some snow from the snow blanket that I got in Poundland and some of the glittery snowflakes on top. So there's Ranach the reindeer. What will we call all? Oh, we have to brook. Storm the snowman. Okay. Yay, so we've got Ranak and Storm with us again. Yay. All six of the dogs. Yeah, all of the dogs will be here. So here we have our snowman. I think he has turned out fantastic. I love him. 
So his hat is glittery vinyl that I had. Um, the red round it is a glittery ribbon that I had and I cut this out on the cricket and put it together. And his face, his eyes and mouth are vinyl and his nose is felt, again all cut with the cricket. The scarf I crocheted. The buttons I bought on Amazon, they were only a couple of pound. His mittens are made from glittery felt and red, the same material that's on his nose. And again, cut with the cricket. And on the bottom, we've got some more snow. So there we go, we've got Storm the Snowman and Ranoch, Ranoch? Ranoch the Reindeer. So cute. Brick was just talking about Hugo's back. As you can see, he's losing his puppy fur on his back and getting his adult coat. And it does look very much like Ranoch's used to look like. Um, so his coat's really weird because he's got his adult coat stripped down the middle but he's still got his baby fur round there. Hey, how are you big boy? And he lost, um, he's losing a lot of his baby teeth, I think he's only got one left. And we found one of them and he's watered, it's the only one that we found. So um, I took a picture of it, I'll put it in for you. Um, I think he's probably swallowed the rest because I've not found them anywhere. Nah, at one point we're going to stand on them. It's been 20 probably. minutes, are you brave enough to no. take it out? No. Just gently hold the edges of the, just gently hold the edges of the nope, tree. You do it. <laughs> I'll do it. Okay. <laughs> the small knife. Right, and then stick it into... Oh. Oh, that'll be hot, you tube! Yeah. <laughs> you nutty! <laughs> it wasn't that hot. It wasn't that hot. Don't put it on the worktop! <laughs> Run your hand under the cold water. Okay, lesson learned. Fingers are getting run under the cold water. No, you need to run that under for it a good... It wasn't hot! We'll see when your fingers blister up. Basic first aid, you burn yourself, you need to run it under cold water for at least a couple of minutes. It wasn't hot, of course it wasn't. It wasn't right, hot. now get the knife oh, and stick it in... That will be sore. <laughs> stick it into the centre of the cake and pull it out and if it, the knife is dry then it's ready. No, nope. nope. I think we'll put it in for another few minutes. So while that's back in, Brooke's got something to tell you. I say it. You do it. Oh, what? what would I say? Tell them that you got your interim report and what it says. Well, what, what, what did they call it? Tracking report. Your tracking report, right? Okay. And what did it say? You don't need to read it all out. Just give us a a summary. Goodish. Goodish. <laughs> I think it was really good. Look at the state of it though. This girl does not learn to put things in her folders in her bag, oh. so they get wet and rip. My grandson's probably going to be like, how did that happen? Of course he will. Right, so, but we have got it on the, the teacher's copy. That's Brooke's copy. And the teacher's copy is over there. Basically, it said that she's doing really good. She's trying hard. She's achieving in most subjects. The only thing it did say was uh, she could try harder with homework with a couple of subjects. I don't know homework that was in for. Yeah, we think that was maybe when she was off. Um, because when she was through staying with my mum, she was homeschooling, but they didn't really put anything up, so it was hard to track. So we think that's what that was. But yeah, it was, she's generally doing really good. So, Smart. hooray! <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> And also, look what my husband bought me! Yay! He came in with us yesterday. Galaxy Advent Calendar! Woohoo! <laughs> Where's my Advent Calendar? What do you get normally, or since last year? Advent Calendars. And? Oh yeah, the, the box thing. The Advent Box, so we'll need to wait and see whether you get that this year or just an Advent Calendar. Hey big boy! Cross your way. It's like, stop annoying me, Brooke. Cross your way. Tell you what, these animals have got such good natures to put up with her annoying them all the time. Cross your way. <laughs> Cross your way. <laughs> it's like, what do you... Oh, Yay, God. good boy. It's like, was that a trick? Did I just do a trick? Good boy. <laughs> Better yeah. teach him to uncross him before he tries to stand up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Kessies, good boy. Right, that's been five more minutes, I'm going to take it out. Right, I think it's about ready, so we're going to try to tip it out. Do you want me to do it? Yes. <laughs> Use a knife. 
to make sure it's all loosened. Here we go, ready, oh no, oh no, steady. Oh no, oh no. no I love that. Oh, yay! Ooh. Oh, it does need another wee bile, I think. No, it's okay to me. That's looking a bit soggy. Well, I don't know, we'll see. It might be okay. That, the, um, see in the video, I uh -huh. thought that the bottom of it was like that. Ah, so it was actually. Yeah. Right, so I've let it cool for a wee bit, wait for it, wait for it, and turned it over. But it's now going to cut it. <laughs> Let's see what happens. Well, it's cutting like cake. What does it look like? Oh. It doesn't look like cake. <laughs> Go for it. Weird texture. It looks like a weird texture. Is it like a brownie texture or...? It's not good, but it's not bad. <laughs> Get it bland. It looks a bit weird. I'm going to cut a bit and try it. Hold on. It's like rubber. <laughs> Certainly doesn't look like theirs did, does it? No. Mm. That is disgusting. That's horrible, Brooke. Actually, once you get over the texture, the taste isn't bad. But I certainly won't be making that again. Eh, no. <laughs> a bit of a fail. Uh -uh. What are you doing? Putting chalk shot on it. <laughs> God. Why not? Ugh. Because it's a waste of chalk shot. It's gross. I like it. I'm not even going to give it to the dogs because there's chocolate in it. Yeah. <laughs> Right, stay down. Stay down. Hello. 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 Hey, come on, Abby. Oh, good luck, Millie. <laughs> <laughs> hello, Coco. I've not seen you yet. Yes, hello. Yes. Hello, lovely. Who's that, Clyde? Oh, she's like, help, Mum. Help. <laughs> oh, right, you, stay Daddy. down. Stay down. <laughs> How you doing? Oh, she's got a wee jumper on. Oh. Hey, Coco, I could crochet for you. I could crochet you wee jumpers. Oh, look at her shaking. She's like, help. Oh, hello, lovely. You are so sweet. She's bigger than I thought. She's still tiny, but bigger than I thought. Look at her. Oh, how you doing, Millie? How are you? Oh, good. Oh, look at her. Put her on the worktop. There you go. You want she just to try and jump off? There we go. Once they get used to you, they'll calm down. Look at her. What age right. is she? She's a couple of weeks younger than ah, you go. Look at the size that's difference. That's <laughs> Hugo. Hugo. Hugo, where's Auntie Donna? That's a good boy. I think it was the last thing you saw him when we brought him home. Aye. Huh? Um, he was so tiny. I know, what a difference, eh? Just a tad. Come on. This was the side of Hugo the last time they saw him. Look at the wee dog carrier! Oh, she's got all her toys in the ribbon! Oh my goodness! Oh, look at Lomond compared to her! Look, they're about the same size! Oh, in fact, I think Lomond's maybe bigger! Yeah, I, think, I think Lomond's pitched that. Oh my goodness! Oh! It's like, nope, I don't know what that is! I don't want to know what that is! I've never seen a cat, I don't no. think. Nah, oh. She's a jackapoo! She's normally a poser, too. <laughs> look at her in the jumper! I had to say I'm a big dog person, but I think it's so sweet that like it would be really nice being able to cuddle them like that. Do you think she remembers you, Brooke? That's good, you not. <laughs> good point. She's probably thinking, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, don't tell me. Am I going to have to sleep with that again? Not her again. <laughs> oh, so sweet. Good boy, Clyde. Look at the stump. Good girl. Good boy. Good girl. Oh, Coco. The ears. Like a wee gremlin. Clyde. Gizmo. Gizmo. Clyde's sniffing her. She's like, ah, you can't get me in here. 
Hello, Coco. Ah, it's so cute. She's in there with her wee toy. Oh, so cute. That's a brilliant bag, isn't it? Yeah. Uh -huh. You twist it like that, and it's got a bigger bit. Sit it oh. Here and it um, and it's oh wow! Open. So it's like a wee crate. Aye. What a clever idea! Aye. That is Aye. such a Aye. clever Aye. idea. And then like these, this bit comes off, and this bit also comes off, but then you can like go on like that. It's actually quite handy. That is good. And she really likes it. Where was that from? Amazon. Brilliant. It's just because Harry could walk as far as Hugo. Aye, but she can't. Mm -hmm. Are we late? So it's not, she doesn't get put in the bag and left in there. She goes out for the right. It's only for when she's tired. Yeah. It's got a wee clutch here as well. Ah. Mm -hmm. So she can be upright. And that is so well. sweet. Oh. Yeah. Right, so you're heading off to a party now? Yes. Yes, right. lucky you via McDonald's and then home to get glammed up. Mm -hmm. yeah. Excellent. <laughs> and is mum just getting stuck in the house again? Yeah. With cocoa bean. With cocoa bean. With cocoa bean. Fair yeah. enough. Yeah. <laughs> really, Brooke? Yes. <laughs> Brooke's having a cheese toasty for dinner. And before we melt the cheese, she's putting pepper, what's that, paprika? What else is on it? Parmesan, Parmesan and garlic. And garlic. Italian. Italian. And is there salt going on it now? Yeah. There's lots of salt in cheese. Don't taste it. <laughs> Just a wee drop then. Right, we'll put this in the microwave now. Heat it up. Oh my goodness. I just have to tell you about this. I found this little tin um, that was actually a wee with Christmas stuff from last year it had had Christmas marshmallows on it and I thought it's too nice a tin to throw away so I took the sticky label off it was all the way round and uh, soaked it in water but it was still really sticky and I remembered people talking about this sticky stuff remover that you could get so I went on to Amazon can't remember how much it was 2 99 or something I'll put it on the screen for you and it just arrived so I thought I would give it a go and you basically just spray it on the surface and it turns into like a gel so it sticks, it doesn't run down it, so you can leave it standing upright. Um, so I sprayed it all over, left it for about five minutes and then I came and I just took this wee scraper and scraped at the gel. You could use a credit card or something I would think. Um, and look at the gunk that came off it. And then I just gave it a wipe with some baby wipes and look at it, it is perfect. I can't believe how well that's worked. So I am going to repurpose that. I'm going to put some vinyl on it and make it something nice. Isn't that lovely? What a brilliant, brilliant product that is. And it hardly took any at all. Definitely highly recommend it. Apparently you can use it on chewing gum and everything as well. So yeah, I've got loads of jars in the cupboard that I've not reused because the labels all stuck to them. But now I'll be able to reuse them. Ha! There you go. Right, so it is now about five o'clock, just after five o'clock. We've been fed. Jack's not in from work yet. He's probably waiting at the shop on his way home, but he won't be long. And then we're just going to sit down, have a wee Saturday night movie night, probably. I don't know what we'll watch yet. Um, Brooke's got me watching all the Harry Potter films from the beginning because I've never seen any of them all the way through, but she wanted me to watch them. So um, we might watch some of that or me and Jack might just watch something ourselves. I don't know yet. I might persuade him to watch a Christmas film. We are quite far into November now. <laughs> me and Brooke enjoyed the one that we watched the other night. And we watched another one last night called The Claus Family or something. It's on Netflix and it was actually really good. I think it's Dutch, so it's foreign but, and it was dubbed. So there's not any subtitles, but you can see that their mouth's not moving in sight to the words. But once you get past that, it's actually a really enjoyable film. So it's on Netflix. If you've not watched it, give it a go. So that is me. I'm just going to end the vlog here. I hope you've enjoyed it. It was so nice to see Donna and Millie. I don't get to see them nearly as often as I used to, obviously, because they live back in Falkirk. Um, so, yeah, it's too far for us to see each other very often. But when we do, we have a good natter. We put the world to rights. And then um, Brooke and Millie went and played the Xbox and stuff. So it was good. Had a wee chat. Um, and it was lovely to see wee Coco as well. She's so cute. A wee Jackapoo. Um, but she looks more like a Yorkie. And they even said that um, themselves. The vets thought she was a Yorkie as well. But she's not. She's a Jackapoo. 
Jack Russell Cross Poodle. Anyway, I'm havering again, so I'm going to head off now. I hope you've enjoyed this vlog. If so, please hit that thumbs up button. Don't forget to talk to me in the comments below. And I will see you in our next one. Oh, subscribe if you haven't already. See you later. Bye! Thank you.